nigga mad cause your bitch. I ain't straight to the game. I ain't straight to the game. What the hell is going on, bro? Why are you taking a camera? It's a vlog. Dude, nice car, man. Dude, I'm jealous of the sunroof. I'm not looking. Hmm? I like the sunroof, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wish I had it. You're probably going in solid, like a double. No, on the boards. Dude, I didn't even clean my car and it's already clean. What? I said I didn't clean my car and it looks clean right now. Nice. So Mike is thinking about buying one of these. Wow. wow. This is what happens. You're like scratched up. That's why you don't park next to people. You gotta park far away. That's the thing. The enthusiasts park far away. People like Mike here my dad's to park way in the crowd. Like unless you want to get your door, door fucking slashed like mine and Will's have been getting. And Will parks in, in the people too. Yeah, I know. So you got to park out more for a while. Both of our classes are over there, like, most of the time. Damn. Usually I'm getting here at 8.55 when it's past 9, so I'm not going to park all the way over here. Well, I usually just, even if it was at 6 o'clock, I'd park over here. Save your vehicle. What'd you say? What event? Okay. For the snow tube. Maybe. Since I did last time for the big diesel. Depends on how I'm feeling after Friday, because as I said, it's, it's Will's birthday, so we're going to be going out. We got to be able to go to this. I'm going to go, I'm just saying, oh, do you have to get a ride from them, or can you meet them there? You probably have to go on, I don't know. Because yeah. then we'd have to perfectly be there on time, or for when they get there, it'd be ridiculous. Yeah. Then they're going to think we're weird. Then anyone that we talk to is going to think we're weird because we didn't go on the bus and we're just some random people. Yeah. There you All go. Right. Well. So we need to go on that bus trip. And all right, guys, so this is actually Mike's new car that he got. It's a loaner car. He's getting his truck repair. He's going to get steering, a new exhaust kit, probably a new, probably a new diff as well. Listen to Derek. Yeah. Be ready. All right. See ya. See ya. Sounds exactly like a diesel. Yeah! Eight cylinders. I think it's about half that. Oh my gosh. Yep. I tried to get him to park somewhere else, but of course he parks right next. Good. No, never again, man. Do it again? Nice Volbeat tattoo. Yeah, bro. <laughs> nice! Yeah, dude. Can you modify this for me? No. We'll see you later. See ya. Still sitting in this parking lot. I was weighing my odds for well, what I can get online and what I can get at the store. And I think I'm going to be able to get the best price there. Should have picked it up the other day. Didn't think about it. Today's the day to do it. And we're obviously going to have to paint it out. Because, you know, it's something that's not the right color. So. Obviously we can take care of that because it's not something that's actually going to be body work. So that's why if anything body work, I'm never going to take care of it on my own anymore. That was just a complete waste of time. So let's head on out. Got to get one more year supply of something and then we're going to get that. New mod for the Silverado. Yeah, man, I got to buy that house right up there on the mountain. See that right there? I have an open house. Just invite everyone over. Big cookouts. Just tons of trucks kicking it up. And then on top of that mountain, there's a house too. I don't know if you can see it, but there's one up there and it's crazy. Behind the wheels, it didn't like my mind into the rear view.
we're just pulling up to the WAG here. It's very weird in here. I guess I'll bring you in this time because it's kind of very, I don't know, it's strange. Wow, amazing. That's a real train. There we go. All right, guys, so this is this will probably last me about a year or two. I bought two bottles of this white distilled vinegar. I still have a little bit of a bottle at home. And it's, it's good for cleaning inside of a truck, outside of the truck if you really wanted to, and just whatever else. So definitely pick up some of this. This is what I forgot to buy the other day, but we finally got that. So now let's go actually get what we're getting for the truck. It's on the way back, so it worked out perfect. There we go, man. Check out this truck. Still looks good from this side. Yep guys, we finally picked it up right here. I figured, you know, since my exhaust looks, well, it looks kind of ugly with the body lift and everything, I might just cut the pipe and then throw this sucker on. Got it for 10 bucks, pretty big. As you can see, it's pretty long as well, so definitely going to take care of that. Also bought some ear supplies and more stuff, so. All right, so let's head home. Now that I think about it, I actually did buy an exhaust tip there before, that chrome one from a long time ago, and it, it was big. It was actually a lot bigger. I forget what the outlet was. It might've been four, five inches actually i'm not really sure but yeah sold for five bucks should have never done it and then i'd still have it so this one's yeah i think this one's a little bit smaller but it's gonna fit better because the other one it was it was kind of a bit too big for the pipe on a gas truck So you guys may be thinking there's always the controversy of whether these things even do anything I think you need to get certain ones that actually do see there's ones that well They're just very thin right here and they go all the way back that probably does nothing unless you know You go from a four inch inlet to an eight inch outlet Then obviously it's gonna amplify it as if you're blowing into one of those things that you yell in it makes you louder But if you look at the inside of this one first of all, it's curved So and it's also if you see that in the inside, it's got a glass pack interior in it I think this is the best way for me to show you guys. If you look through the light, you can see there's just, there's holes in there. And that's what the inside of a glass pack looks like. So this is going to make my Silverado a lot louder, but I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna tell the video this because obviously it's gonna piss everybody off. So when I do get to around installing this, it's probably gonna give it a more, a more of a rumble sound to the V8, to the 5.3, mixing with that Flowmaster muffler I already have on the truck. So it's gonna, it's gonna sound pretty good. I used to, the last one I had, it did make the sound a little bit different. So this is probably going to be pretty cool. This is actually the actual, closer to the size of the actual pipe. So it's going to really, it's going to really amplify things a lot more, I think, with this one opposed to the other one. But I guess we'll see. Uh, I might paint it, maybe not. I'm not sure yet because it is a chrome and I do like the black tips better, but I could always just paint over. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you next video. Until next time, take it easy.